Hey all, so this is going to be a bit of an apropos video. No, I know the French, I'm systematized. Uh, but seriously, it's, you know, it's a little bit of an aside, but I think it's important anyways. And I just wanted to bring up the fact that a lot of people on the left seem to be going with the idea that we should try to portray things that we don't like negatively in the terms that we use. So, as an example, is the um, the essay, I guess, that Ralph Nader of the Green Party of the US, who I deeply respect, um, wrote, which is called um, Corporate Socialism, in which he explains how basically corporations have perverted socialism um, and made it, you know, instead of being a socialism that serves people, into socialism, into a system that redistributes money to them. Um, and the problem I have with that, as well as with the related concept of uh, corporate welfare and other concepts like this, is it seems to me at least like it's a really bad idea to associate things that we're fighting for with really, really negative things like corporatism. And, you know, the thing is, we would argue, the left, I certainly would argue, that these things are an oxymoron. There cannot be such a thing as corporate socialism, because socialism involves classlessness, and it involves trying to live up to the concept of to each according to their need. So the idea of a corporation having wealth redistributed to them in socialism is really a perversion of socialism. It really makes no sense. And the same thing goes for welfare, where the idea is that we're helping people who do not have the means to help themselves. Now, you know, I, the, the way in which I'm sure Ralph Nader wanted to use the term was as an oxymoron to show the internal contradictions, to show how ridiculous it was for corporations to be asking for welfare or socialism. But what I think the effect is, in many ways, is we are taking concepts that are already embattled, concepts that people are already fighting about, and concepts that already have a lot of negative connotations and a lot of negative pressure on them, and we, the people that are supposed to be fighting for them, then suddenly seem to agree. Yes, it's actually a bad thing, you know. Weird redistribution of wealth. No, socialism means nothing more than redistributing wealth arbitrarily, if you accept this kind of new definition. But of course that's not true, and I mean, I'm sure that's not what Ralph Nader wanted to say. But to me, that's very much how it comes out. Um, you know, if, if you want to talk about socialism, and you're not entirely against socialism, it's probably an idea, it's, it's a good idea to not connect it to the thing that everyone at the, at the time hates. Um, especially when that connection is unfair, and that's what I believe, and I'm pretty sure what Ralph Nader believes. So, I mean, I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. Um, not that I'm going to be influencing Ralph Nader, much less anyone else that actually has any chance to be heard in the U.S. But, you know, don't, don't fall into the trap of, of having our language and our terms, which mean something that, at least to us, is positive, be used in terms which are negative to anyone listening to it, like giving money to evil corporations. Anyways, Church of SFU, I will see you guys all later. And if you're wondering why I'm holding a, um, a, a, a tissue over my microphone, it's basically like, you know, that, that thing where you speak into it and then it makes all those ch -ch -ch noises. It, it kind of works, but it looks silly, so maybe I'll have to buy one of those proper 
mouth guarding things. I'll see you guys.